What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to bring you an update guide on how to just farm out levels, farm out gear, and get a crap ton of legendaries, and that's all within the Vampiric Helltides. Inside the Vampiric Helltides, you can start doing at level one, and you can just start farming these right away. Now the reason we're doing that is for these little pedestals, where we're gonna put three blood lures in. Okay, you can kill all the vampires in here, and just get 50 blood lures and then put them in. You need to do all three to activate this. Okay, activating this is going to be located right here at the blood harvest symbol, which you guys can see here. And when you activate this, we're going to go through this live. It's going to give you a crap ton of loot, a crap ton of gear, and a crap ton of EXP, as well as a lot of legendaries, okay? Just in general. So you can farm the entire Helltide as much as you want. Get your 50... Uh, 50 lures if you're doing it in a party or do your 150 uh, lures if you're doing it solo a lot of people have caught on to this we made a previous video about this but i wanted to update it for you guys they have not nerfed this this is probably the coolest thing that you guys can do inside of the season two if you're playing and all it takes is 150 and the great thing about the blood lures is is that they do not go away so once the the rift is gone or the vamp tide is gone it'll just relocate and you can just keep doing it over and over again one of the great things about this is the fact that you're going to get back a lot of the lures that you put back in it's typically around 20 to 25 back so if you're doing this in a group like we're doing or with some randos you're going to get a lot of lures back now just take a look look at how many legendaries one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 legendaries. 14. 15 legendaries that we got from doing this one time. One time. I can't even pick them all up, I don't think. I don't even think I can pick them all up. Because there's so many. Yeah, I can't even pick them all up. 16. I offered and again... Once you're done, look at this. We have we farmed up a, uh, a bunch again. We could just keep doing this over and over and over again. I wanted to bring this video to you guys so you guys could see. This is an insanely good, not only EXP farm, especially if you have other random people here, but even if you had a group of three or four or even two, you guys farm, you guys are just going to get an insanely or ungodly amount of gear, loot, and EXP. But more importantly, all the legendaries. I cannot stress this enough. It's absolutely insane how many you're getting. And I'm probably going to have over the amount. And it's just, it's nuts. It's absolutely bonkers how much you're getting. I don't even got to fight right now because these guys are just like destroying everything. If you're looking for a particular power that you need, right? Looking for a particular Hello. power or item that you need, then this is definitely the place to do it. Another almost max enigma. We don't need these boots. It's kind of crazy. We're just looking at all this stuff briefly. I mean, look how many more are dropping. I'm not even going to have enough. Not even going to have enough room for all this. We're going to go back to town real quick. And this is a dirty little secret, guys. I don't think you guys understand. I don't think a lot of people know about this. It's a boss thing. It's a little boss mechanic which makes Vamp Tides just insanely strong insanely strong go to the blacksmith let's kill all the junk Use all right well. let's go back those guys are probably going to light it up again right we got another rathmus chosen which is just awesome let's dump this the mites dump boots suck dump that's the rathmus chosen we keep that and we get rid of everything else boom a lot of this stuff I need to just throw in here. Boom, 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 boom. Throw this stuff up. And all that is good. Let's get rid of all of it. So yeah, guys. Again, how this process works, it's very simple. You're just going to go to your Vampiric Helltide. You're going to be looking for the Blood Harvest symbol. It's typically in the center. And again, all you have to do is just farm up as many Blood Lures as you can. I definitely encourage you to do this in a party. 100% do this in a party. Do not 
Do not try to do it solo. It's going to be harder to do it solo. But if you do have to do it solo, then it's not too bad. It just takes a while to farm up all of the 150 shards that you are going to need to put into these uh, blood lure pedestals. Now, on top of that, you're going to get a bunch of uh, potent bloods, which you can use to upgrade all of your vampiric powers. It's very, very good. Very strong far uh, farming strategy. And besides just repeating the same Nightmare Dungeons for leveling, if you get enough people to do this, like this is by far the best way to level. So we're going to do it one more time for the video, guys, just to showcase. So we've gained, let's see, about 25 legendaries already. And we're going to see how many more we get from just this run. And this is in a matter of just five or six minutes, the length of this video. And you guys are going to see how crazy this is. I bet we get another at least 10 legendaries from these guys. Let me just look. Let me look at what I even picked up. Let me just let me just see. Is there anything I need? That's a max one. We'll keep that just so we have it. Don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Good. All right, we're back. Let's farm this stuff up. See how many we get. We can actually just drop this. Right? Let me throw all this in the corner. That way I know. I mean, look at all the blood lures dropping and all the regular items. And another very, very big important thing about all this, guys, that I want to stress on here at the end of the video is your Tree of Whispers. This adds to your Tree of Whispers. So doing this multiple times is going to allow your trade in for the Tree of Whispers, which, as we all know, especially in World Tier 4, is going to get you an insane amount of gold and just even more loot and resources to go fight Farshan. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, 10, 11 with one unique. Again, guys, this is by far the best way to farm up gear if you're looking for particular legendaries, particular aspects, etc. Oh, make that another one. That's 13. So we got 13 out of it. No big deal. Don't even need it. Let's grab the dagger. So yeah, guys, that's... Oh, we got one more over here. We got another Two more. So that's that's 16. 16 if my math is right. It's probably wrong. You guys are going to butcher me in the comments. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Let me see what my boots are. We got another Pennant Greaves. We don't really need these. But but yeah, guys, that's the video. Go farm this like crazy before they nerf it. Like the video, comment down below. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.